Pontier Harbor Freight Mini Mill CNC project. In previous videos, I showed how there was an angle um, on the column, and this is the part that sets that. It's a casting, and it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty square, um, and I don't know what's off, but I'm gonna remove some material. You can see. I drew a line exaggerating. Um, so in order for me to do that, I have a sign plate here with this mounted to on a one, two, three block. And uh, first thing I'm doing is making sure that with the sign plate at zero, that I'm actually at zero up here, because then when I change the angle down here, I know that um, I'm gonna get the right angle I just wanted to make sure that this was actually square from here to here, and it looks like it's reasonably good. Um, so I set this up and I have an indicator here, and I'm just, I'm moving this around, and I was able to get it straight this way. I have two screws on the back. So I've got that dialed in, and now I'm, I'm moving this around, and I can see that yeah, it is pretty, it's pretty much on zero here. And it's within half a thousand, so I'm zero over there. So the next video I'll show setting the angle on this and then I'll be bringing it over to the grinder to get that fraction of a degree uh, change in this. Thanks for watching. Um, to get the angle that I want, I was doing on the, when I took the measurements of the column in the previous video, I had 20 thousandths of an inch over nine, nine inches of vertical travel. Okay, so just a little simple arithmetic here. Um, if I want to, this is uh, five inches between center on this, sign plate so i'm gonna solve for x to get that to five times 0 0.02 over nine that will give me what the number is five times 0 0.02 divided by nine so that is eleven thousandths of an inch okay well i have shim stock down to a thousandth um so what i'll do is put a eleven thousandths shim under there That was five, here is six thousand, so five plus six is 11. And I'll gently close this. I don't wanna slam this thing, it's a precise tool. Okay, the sign plate has this arm here that locks it, so tighten both of these screws up okay so we're ready to move over to the surface grinder next okay that's good tighten this up Okay, let's turn on the surface grinder.
Okay, I think this will work. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. Thanks for watching. Okay, I got both of these surfaces clean. Feels good. Now well, the way this pin works is there's a there's a key in it. And there's a slot in here. Without dropping the key. Okay, we're in. Okay. Now put the washer on and the nut. And this is the wrench that actually came with the mill. And so it's going to go loose here. Okay, now all these surfaces are parallel to each other and it's the same dimension within a thousandth or two from here to here. So if I put these pieces here, And here, make sure they're clean. And now I've got this C clamp here. I'm going to put this across here. And you will watch this thing just straighten up. Okay. So now because this is secured to here and it's this is parallel from here to here um, this thing is square so I left these I left these loose on purpose so it would so this would move into the right place because one of the things that uh, is not great here is that you know there's no dowel pins that locate this piece on here if you loosen these bolts you lose your alignment. So with my overbuilt setup for rigidity, I also have the ability to square this up. So now I can tighten these and I know that this is truly parallel. Okay, so I've got this set up to evaluate it after I made the adjustments to the base of the grinder. <clears throat> I've got the indicator zeroed out down here. And I slide up. And at the top, I'm at 5,000. So I've got, let me check it one more time. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm a lot better. I'm at five thousandths now instead of 20. And I wanna see which direction it's facing just for curiosity's sake. Clockwise would be towards me. Okay, so <clears throat> it's, it's leaning back a little bit. I was forward 20 thousandths and now I'm back five. And I think this is where I'm going to call it good um, with that uh, little 
cam adjusting system, I'll be able to get it to zero and five thousandths shouldn't be too hard to do if I go like this. Yeah, I can get, I can get, I can get five thousandths by pushing it, by pushing with my finger, I can get five thousandths, so that's, it's pretty light pressure, so I'm okay with that. And actually with the, the weight of the head on here, I think it's a good thing to have this thing leaning back. I've read that some others, they intentionally set it this way because it comes forward when, when the weight is on there. Okay, so that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Um, next, I'll be working on getting these mounted up.